In this lesson, we will learn about the alkali metals in group 1 of the periodic table. We will also learn about their properties and trends in their reactivities. The alkali metals are lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. These metals all have one electron in their valence shell and can lose this valence electron to form an ion with a plus one charge. Let's do a practical with lithium, sodium, and potassium. These metals are stored in oil as they readily react with oxygen and water vapor in air to form a layer of oxides. Using a pair of tweezers, remove a piece of lithium and cut a small piece using a scalpel. You will see that they are shiny and observe that they are soft when you cut them. Remove the excess oil using paper towels, taking care not to touch it with your bare hands. Drop in a large trough of water and observe what happens. Make sure that this is done behind a safety screen. The lithium metal floats on top of the water, fizzes, and slowly disappears. Add a few drops of universal indicator solution and you will see that it turns blue or purple. This is why they are called alkali metals. They react with water to produce an alkaline solution. Lithium has reacted with water to produce hydrogen gas and lithium hydroxide according to the equation below. Let's repeat with sodium. You will find that sodium is softer than lithium and as a result is easier to cut. It reacts more vigorously with water to produce hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide. When you add a few drops of universal indicator solution, it confirms that an alkaline solution has been produced because it turns blue or purple. Let's now repeat with potassium. What predictions can you make about its softness and the vigor of its reaction with water in comparison with sodium? Please pause the lesson to think about this and resume when you are done. You will find that potassium is softer than sodium and easier to cut. It reacts more vigorously with water than sodium. However, an important observation is made. It burns with a lilac flame. Ensure that a very small piece of potassium is used and stand far back as it may spit. You may also hear a small popping noise due to the combustion of hydrogen. All alkali metals float on top of water. This is in contrast to the alkaline earth metals or the group 2 metals which sink when they react with water. So moving down the group, alkali metals become increasingly soft and react with increasing vigor with water. We can predict that rubidium and cesium will be much softer and much more reactive. Francium is radioactive and is very rare in nature. There are also other observed trends moving down the group. Their density increases and their melting points and their boiling points will decrease. In summary, the alkali metals are the group 1 metals. They react with water to produce hydrogen gas and their corresponding metal hydroxide. Moving down the group, softness of the metal increases, reactivity with water increases, their density increases, but melting points and their boiling points will decrease.